Hey guys, in this video series we'll focus on short topics and tutorials to improve your flight skills and knowledge from the ground up. In this video we will look at runway markings. A good companion to this video would be runway lights and I will leave a link at the end of the video. Let's begin here at runway 30. First thing I should mention is that some or all of these markings may not be found on non-precision runways found in regional airstrips for instance Obviously, grass and waterways are going to have none of these markings. Overruns or stopways and blast pads cannot under any circumstance be used for aircraft operations. Many of these areas have water or recently special materials designed to stop aircraft from running past the runway and potentially into a dangerous obstruction or building. Although they are effective at stopping aircraft, you probably not be able to extract the aircraft without a crane or tow. First, Edge markings identify the edge of the runway and the start of either the grass or the shoulder of the paved surface. Many times this is another material and not necessarily safe to taxi or roll onto, so be aware of that. Runways themselves may have different materials on, for instance, the center portion of the runway and the sides of the runway up to the edge markings. They may be, for instance, asphalt for the first center 40 feet of the runway and turf edges or sides. Displaced thresholds are marked with a solid white line and designated by a center line consisting of arrows. You cannot land on a displaced threshold for a variety of reasons. Sometimes to keep landing aircraft away from obstacles that departing aircraft need not worry about. These areas can however be used at the end of a landing to roll into or for taxi and takeoff. You could start your takeoff roll from the displaced threshold. The runway threshold helps identify the beginning of the runway that is available for landing. Takeoffs can use additional portions of this displaced threshold if available. The most obvious marking on a runway that most will be familiar with is the runway designator or runway number, in this case 30. This is the magnetic azimuth of the center line of the runway rounded to the nearest 10 degrees. Obviously, if we take that runway number and add a zero to it, it gives us our approximate within 10 degrees runway heading of 300. Runway center line markings provide alignment guidance during takeoff and landings, and are the ones that induce stress on pilots while hearing their instructors berate them for landing in the left or right lane. They are also 120 feet in length, and the distance between them is 80 feet which creates a 200 foot marker between the start of one strip to another. Taxi on and taxi off lines provide guidance for aircraft entering or leaving a runway to a designated taxiway. The runway aiming point on precision runways is where the ILS glide slope would intersect with the runway. This is where it leads you to and can be used for your aiming point on visual or RNAV approaches. The length of the aiming point is 150 feet if you are training, aim for this and touch down within it. Keep in mind, this is where the ILS intersects the glide slope to the runway, not the RNAV glide path, which is different. Runway touchdown zones, or TDZs, provide indicators of the area you should be landing in. This can also be a different material than the rest of the runway as it takes the most abuse. Some airports have specific instructions not to break heavily on certain portions of the runway for this reason. When runways intersect, the runway with the highest precedent from categories, being Cat 3 being the highest down to non-precision and visual, is the runway which markings continue or sort of are painted over the other runway. Therefore, a Cat 3 runway will have its edge markings painted over a Cat 2 runway's asphalt and in turn a Cat 2 over 1 over non-precision and then visual. In most intersecting runways in MSFS, as you've seen here, they are not modeled correctly. An excellent follow-up to learning about runway markings and lighting systems is another video about learning to read airport info or airport diagram 10-9 charts that depict these systems for you and help you identify them. The link should be on screen now. I hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.